In this lecture, I am going to explain the working principle of the drilling machines. How the drilling machines will work that we will see in this lecture. The aim of the session, the comprehensive understanding of the working principle of a drilling machine, its components and their functions. Instructional objectives. This session is designed to explain the working principle of a drilling machine including its basic components to familiarize participants with the various components of a drilling machine and their functions. The learning outcomes at the end of the session you should be able to understand the working principle of a drilling machine and its importance in metal working process. Perform basic drilling operations such as drilling, boring, reaming, counter boring, tapping using proper techniques and tool selection. Now let us see that what are the main components of drilling machine. First we will see the, the drilling machine. Now you can see that this is the, the, the radial drilling machine. We will see the main components of the drilling machine. The first one is the base. Now you can see that this is the base. Second one is a column. So the entire the arm is moving up and down with the, with the help of this column and the second one is the arm. So now this is the arm where this entire the drill spindle assembly is mounted and the drill spindle assembly can move towards the column or away from the column in order to accommodate at different the positions of the workpiece. Those are mounted on the table. Next spindle head, you can see that uh, the spindle head and uh, the spindle okay, where the um, drill bit is mounted and you can see that this is the drill bit and seventh one is the arm elevating screw. So this entire radial arm can move up and uh, down with the help of uh, this elevated uh, screw. The table base where the workpiece is mounted on the table and you can observe this table is providing the T-slots. So with the help of these T-slots, we can fix the workpieces or you can fix the jaws and on the jaws you can fix the workpiece like according to the requirement at different surfaces they provide T-slots. Drill feed handle. So while uh, um, making drilling, you have to um, operate this uh, handle so that uh, the drill will move inside the workpiece uh, with a given feed. Uh, the um, um, drilling operation is taking place. So these are the main components of uh, drilling machine. If you take any drilling machine, these main uh, the important components. There is auxiliary components are there. That auxiliary components may vary from machine to machine, but main basic components are uh, same for all the drilling machines. Now let us see that the working principle of drilling machine. The working principle of drilling machine is based on the rotary motion of a drill bit to create holes in various materials. The drilling machine is typically powered by an electric motor or an internal combustion engine. This power source provides the necessary rotational force to drive the drill bit. So the drill bit is the cutting tool that is used to create holes. It is typically made of high speed steel or carbide steels and has a pointed end for cutting into the material. The drill bit is securely mounted on the machine's spindle. The spindle is a rotating component that holds and drives the drill bit. It is driven by the power source and rotates at a high speed. The spindle is mounted on bearings to ensure smooth and precise rotation of the drill bits. So the chuck is a device located at the end of the spindle that holds the drill bit in place. It provides a secure grip on the drill bit and allows for easy insertion and removal of the drill bits from the chuck. Chucks can be manual or keyless depending on the design of the drilling machines. Di uh, different drilling machines they are providing the different uh, the ancillary units to uh, make uh, the fixing of the drill bits. 
The feed mechanism controls the downward movement of the drill bit into the material. It can be manual or automatic. Depending on the type of drilling machine you are using, if it is a manually operated machine, you can manually you can uh, rotate the wheel so that that uh, tool uh, while rotating it will go inside the workpiece with a specified feed. And automatic also that automatically that uh, entire uh, the drive in it will move a downward direction so that the drill bit while rotating it will go inside so the depth of cut will be uh, taking place and material will be removed. So the drilling machine is mounted on a base which provides stability and support because while making drilling there is a lot of vibrations are obtained the stability is very important the base is very strong so that there is no vibrations once vibrations then accurate to the drilling hole may not be possible the base may also have slots or T slots to allow for the attachment of work pieces or auxiliary device according to the requirements some auxiliary devices you can use and fix it and work pieces you can fix on the auxiliary devices for a specific uh, orientation of the drilling operations so drilling holes may not be in uh, always in the vertical direction sometimes we require some inclined uh, holes are required or horizontal holes are required so according to the specific applications you can use the auxiliary devices and we with the help of the auxiliary devices, the required orientation of the holes may be uh, possible. So the work table is located on top of the base and can be adjusted vertically and horizontally to position the workpiece accurately. So the drilling machine has uh, various controls to adjust the speed, feed, rate and depth of cut. These three are very machining conditions are very important that depends upon the what type of tool you are used, what is the workpiece material based on that you can choose the, the specified machining conditions. So these controls allows the operator to tailor the drilling process to the specific requirements of the material and the hole being created. So when the drilling machine is switched on, the power source drives the spindle causing the drill bit to rotate at a high speed. Specified speed, the drill bit will rotate. So the operator positions the workpiece on the work table and aligns it with the desired drilling location. So the drill bit is then brought into contact with the material, applying downward pressure using the feed mechanism. So as the drill bit rotates and applies the pressure, it cuts into the material, creating the hole. The feed mechanism controls the downward movement of the drill bit, ensuring a consistent and controlled drilling depth. So the operator may also adjust the speed and feed rate as needed, depending on the material and the desired hole size. So once the desired depth is reached, the operator releases the pressure and stops the rotation of the drill bit. The drill bit is then retracted from the material and the process can be repeated to create additional holes. So overall, the working principle of drilling machine involves the rotation of a drill bit and the controlled movement of the drill bit into the material to create holes accurately and efficiently. So this part of the session is uh, understand the working, working principle of drilling machines and the basic components of the drilling machines.